Okay, now that you've got the basics of changing maps by creating clusters of style sheets and effects, you can use these techniques on pretty much any map that you create. An overland map, you can do exactly what I've done here. You can change the styles so that the map looks considerably different, whether it be uh, taking a color map. So just in summary, let's take a look at what you can do. You can have a beautiful color deck uh, plan mapped out like this, and then you can go and choose your black and white design, and just by changing the style sheet collection that you have created, you can immediately change this map into a beautiful black and white rendering, flat black and white rendering. Or you could select, change it again to a blueprint as such. So, one map and using different style sheets, you can get completely different visual effects just by clicking a few buttons. Best of all, you can use these collections of style sheets on other maps as well. So for example, if I load up the previous scout ship that we created, there he is, and then we clicked on just a couple of buttons to give us a black and white version of that map. Bingo, you now have a quite different looking style of map for printing. When you create collections of style sheets like this, you can reuse them over and over and over again. And you'll quickly find that you'll end up with a couple of collections of style sheets that are uniquely yours, that really give your maps your style. Campaign cartographers' sheets and effects are probably one of the most powerful things in the product, but also one of the things which are least understood. I strongly encourage you to get in there and play with them. Don't worry about making mistakes. The worst that you could do is crash the application and have to restart. Uh, but you will always have the, uh, the work saved from the previous autosave. That's the absolute worst. Usually you just end up with something that doesn't look quite the way you want it. So get stuck in, get familiar with those sheets, and really have some fun. Once you've figured them out, start using different style sheets to take one map and replicate it in different ways for different types of gaming experiences. Have a great Christmas and a very, very happy new year in 2011. And please keep writing to me. I'm getting uh, literally dozens and dozens of, of comments uh, almost on a daily basis now. I try to respond to them all. I can't always. But I really do appreciate your feedback and your comments. Thank you very much, everybody, and have a wonderful 2011.